Hi Libra, this is Mary Shia Machan Shaloka. So, let's tap into the energy of those of you who are not in communication with your person right now. Libra's out there. What is it that you need to hear from me right now regards to the situation you are in with your person right now? All right, Libra's. Your first card is, we're going to chariot energy. Some of you might be dealing with a Cancerian uh, or a Leo energy, all right? Six of Wands. They want me to look at this card as well. Uh, they were the Page of Pentacles. It's all about taking action, all right? Um, chariot is about forward moving energy, taking charge of a situation, sitting behind the wheel, okay? Taking things forward, taking things back on track. All right, and then the page of pentacles. It's, it's about initiating. This person has something to offer. All right, this, this is a card about initiating because there is still potential within this connection. Six of Wands is, uh, they want me to look at the card next to it, under it. What is it? Two of Swords. So you are thinking, okay, there is this energy about contemplating a decision. So you have been thinking about um, initiating. All right, I might be speaking directly to the Librans out there or could be uh, towards the cross watcher. All right, so someone is deciding they need to uh, take charge of the situation and initiate because they feel like there is potential within this connection. All right, uh, six of wands is about, um, you know, victory, success. So you want things to go forward. It is a forward moving energy. It is a card of marriage as well. But um, in, the, in this particular uh, set, it seems like uh, you want to make this work. All right. Some of you might be dealing with a Leo energy uh, or a Libra energy. Another Libra. All right. Moving on. What is your next card, please? Your next card as blunt as that, six of pentacles, all right? This is what you've been asked to do, all right? Initiate contact with this person. You can see this person offering something to the other person, all right? And then we have the ten of swords. This is how things are right now, pretty much dead, all right? It's ten swords on this person's back. So if you need to heal this person or this situation or with your person, you, you need to... Take charge, step up, initiate. All right, some of you might be dealing with a Taurus energy or a Gemini energy. All right, they want me to stop at this card. What is it? Five swords. All right, so it's, it's about um, there is an energy uh, where you feel like you're not on the same page. Okay, you are. You are not speaking. It's a no communication reading. So it, it, uh, there is a pettiness as well. You know, with this five swords, you can see this one person who is like, uh, you know, it, it, it seems like both of you are in your corners and, you know, having this uh, egoistic power play. Which is, which is going, like, I am winning. Like, I am not going to step, uh, you know, uh, initiate. That kind of energy is coming through, all right? That is putting from the 5 to the 10. Earlier, I showed you the 10 of swords energy. So when this is being done, you're killing the connection. Okay, when nobody is willing to step up, the connection is dying. Okay, whatever you have with this person, it is fading away, all right? Uh, some of you might be dealing with, I forgot, all right, what is the next card please, Libra's out there, a Libra's out there, what is the next card please, your next card is the Ace of Wands, you're being asked to give them the commitment, all right, Ace of Wands is something which has a lot of potential, Okay, what is it that you have to offer? Or you are deciding, okay, because you're not being asked to. You are deciding because the two swords came through earlier, uh, which is about being on the crossroads, making that decision. Chariot energy is stepping up and taking charge, okay? You, uh, uh, you, you're deciding to initiate. And what you have to offer is something huge, okay? It has a lot of potential. It could be some kind of, you know, uh, I think we want me to look at this one as well. 
Yes, two of cups. Okay, so they're saying the ace of wands, uh, you want to solidify this connection. Okay, you're making that verdict. Oh my God, you're making that verdict. Okay, verdict uh, with this judgment energy, you're making a verdict, you're meant to be together. All right, with this two of cups, you want, you can see this two people in, the, in each other's arms. So whatever this ace of wands is about, it could be a marriage as well, because I, I showed you the six of wands earlier, which is a marriage energy as well. All right, but it seems like you're waiting. All right, oh, with the seven of pentacles energy, you're waiting, you might be observing like what is going on with this person's life. All right, what are they up to? All right, before you step up and initiate. Yeah, all right. Some of you with that two of cups energy, um, some of you might, uh, can be, uh, uh, could be dealing with a concern or judgment. I keep forgetting. Uh, some of you might be dealing with a Libra or a Scorpion person with this King of Cups energy along with the Tower. It seems like shit hit the fan, all right? Things fell apart. And this is still uh, affecting your energy. Okay, whatever has happened, whatever that Tower moment was, it really affected this connection. Okay, and you're still thinking about it. Okay, you are very indecisive because of what had happened. All right? Uh, I keep, uh, I just noticed I uh, forgot some things twice, all right? Uh, I couldn't recollect the card. So it's, it's almost like um, the memory is fading, okay? It, it's, it's like it's fading away because they made me speak about the Ten of Swords and the Five of Swords. It's like when, uh, when, I, uh, when I spoke about the Ten of Swords, I was like, if you keep hanging on to this, uh, you know, power play, what you had once upon a time, it is fading out, all right? It is already dead right now because you're not doing anything about it, but it seems to be fading away, okay? So, um, I, I usually don't forget, okay? But in your reading, I forgot a few things. So it's almost like the memory is fading away, okay? That's interesting. Yes, seven of wands. This is because, you know, uh, people are standing their ground. You know, they, they, you know there, there is this energy about close, uh, being closed off. You are not letting the other person in. You know, you don't want to uh, let them know how you feel about them. That kind of energy. Hmm. All right. What is your next card, please? Leavings. So I think with that, what they want to say with that seven of pentacles energy. All right, it just made me think about it. Seven of Pentacles is a waiting phase, but it seems like time has lapsed out to the extent, you know, the other person is kind of forgetting, you know, it's, it's they might be just moving on. All right, yes, Page of Swords, Seven of Wands, Page of Swords. There is this energy about being very defensive. Either you or your person is very defensive. You know? uh, there is a strong energy about nobody taking the initiative. But someone is finally thinking about it. Like, I need to do this. I need to step up. I need to offer them this. Because uh, the backstory with that five swords, ten of swords, uh, seven of wands, uh, you know, seven of pentacles, all that. Because of the time which is getting lapsed, um, you know. Things are fading out. Yeah. All right. Leaving out. What is your next card, please? Your next card is the Nine of Swords. This could be your body as well. Okay. Nine of Swords, you, you are... Um, you're anxious about this. What if they have moved on? Yes, Two of Swords. This is what, what is stopping you. Okay. You are at the crossroads. You have to make the decision. Should I reach out to this person or not, okay, with that chariot energy, should I offer them this commitment? But then you, you're anxious because you're losing your sleep over this, overthinking this, actually, all right? You, you're always thinking, like, you know, what if they moved on? Because it's always in this two of swords, okay, which is your Libra energy. Some of you might be dealing with a Gemini, 
what if they are moving on okay so you're not taking action yet because you're still overthinking this because nine of swords is overthinking okay they want me to look at this card so what is it you're overthinking is this over okay ten of swords are they done with you uh done with me have they moved on this this is your thought process what if i reach out to them and they've already moved on yeah all right this stresses you out all right strong gemini energy for some of you out there libra's out there what is your next card please this one, Eight of Wands. They're asking you to just take things forward. All right? Eight of Wands is about forward moving energy. It's a communication card. It is a travel card. It is about, you know, taking things forward. And right on top is the Six of Pentacles. You know, just initiate contact. And that's about it. Just start talking and you will know. Rather than sitting and thinking, you know, yes. You will know whether it's over or not with the same ten of swords. Okay? Don't let it... Um, they're also telling me um, with, this, with this ten of swords, if things seems to be dead, you can revive it. With this eight of wands, you can pick it up and heal it. Okay? Heal this connection. You don't have to let it uh, stay dead. All right. Some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarius or probably a Gemini. Moving on. Libra's out there. What is your next card, please? You got the Empress. I w uh, while I was shuffling, I by mistake I thought, uh, "What's your last card?" Okay. Instead of the next card, I was like, "What's your last card?" All right. So the energy which I picked up is the Empress. So you understand this is your empress. That is why you are deciding to charge towards them. That is why you are deciding to offer them this ace of wands, this commitment. All right. But uh, you're really stressed out. Okay. They are asking you to move towards them. All right. So the end game is this person is your empress. You know it. They know it or not. I'm not really sure. But you know it. And Three of Cups. You feel like Three of Cups is a marriage card. This, this is a card about celebrations. They want me to look at this card as well. But uh, you feel like this is the person whom you're getting, going to get married with. All right? So, yes, uh, High Priestess. This is, this is what I was picking up on. All right? This intuitively you know this is your woman. This is your person. This is my partner. All right? We've got the page of wands. All you got to do is initiate. Page of wands is a messenger energy. Moving on. Librans out there. What is your next card, please? Uh, we've got the death card. Uh, uh, death card is about transition. All right. There is a need for you to step up, initiate for things to move forward. All right. Can we have the next card, please? Librans out there. Temperance. Temperance is all about bringing about an alignment, all right? So with that chariot energy and the six of pentacles energy, once you initiate contact, once you take charge um, uh, take charge within this connection okay, and bring things back on track, things are just going to fall into its place. If this is your empress, if she is meant to be yours, that will happen, all right? Okay, things will just start falling, the, uh, you know, the pieces of the puzzle will just start falling into its right places all right all you got to do is page of pentacles initiate oh my god the repeat energy within your reading okay uh interestingly they are not showing the other person's side but uh, they're convincing you to reach out all right page of swords all right um, since I asked for it, they showed me the page of swords. So they're coming through as a page of swords. You see them as a page of swords. Page of swords is a little bitch card for me. So it, it's like they're, they're, they're very confrontational. Uh, you know, uh, they're very vocal as well. All right. 
Uh, you feel like we will put up a fight. Yeah. All right. Let's move on. It's because of six of pentacles and the eight of wands. If you move towards them, you feel like they will strike you. Okay. They will fight you. But then you are being asked to do what you got to do. That's about it. Don't overthink this. I just saw the lover's energy. They made me look at it. All right. Uh, what is your next card, please? Got the seven of pentacles. Here they're confirming. It's just not the waiting game. All right. Here they're asking with that six of pentacles and the eight of wands. Don't overthink this. Okay, don't think how they are going to react because page of swords. This is what is stopping you. They will fight you. Okay, you are observing this person like, you know, what are they up to, blah, 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 because I see you sitting and waiting. What they're asking you to do is initiate contact, take things forward, and then, okay, put the ball in their court and see how they will react. That's about it. Okay, because seven of cups, there, there is this energy about... You know, be optimistic. Okay, you're being asked to be optimistic rather than just assuming they're going to fight you back. You know, they're just going to push you away. All right? This is an energy about... Because uh, it's, a, it's a farmer who is put in the, uh, put in the um, seeds and waiting for the harvest. So did you put the seeds yet? All right? So you need to initiate contact first. Okay? In the center of the reading is all about eight of wands. Take things forward. We started off with the chariot energy. Take things forward. Just, you know, take charge of the situation. That's about it. Let's have the last card for the Libras out there. This one. You've got the tower. Uh, they're asking you to shake things up. All right. The tower has happened already. Uh, you need to uh, shake things up to bring about this liberation uh, because eight of swords in the traditional de uh, traditional deck is uh, a person who's stuck all right she's she's tied up her hands are tied up she, her body is tied up you know she, she has a rope around her body uh, there is a blindfold all that you know eight swords around her the thing is she can easily take everything off okay remove the a blindfold and just walk away nothing is stopping her in this deck we have this person you know literally flying out okay there i don't know if it's uh visible but there is the spider web um all over this image okay so it's it's like there is so much uh cowards okay it's it's like you know you feel trapped but there is a need for you to release yourself from this energy of whatever it is uh you know making you stuck okay the think overthinking you know what what will they how will they react what will they do blah 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 okay you need to get over it okay there is a need for you to because yes exactly exactly with this nine of swords energy okay it, it's like i get this energy from you 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 want to do something about it but there is so much so much going in your head like you know if i do this this is how they're going to react this is how they're going to you know um speak to me blah 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 so shake up from this energy liberate yourself you got to do what you got to do that's about it all right i'm just going to put oh they want me to look at this card yes three of pentacles there is overthinking over planning not doing anything all right that is why we have the eight of wands in the center of the reading take things forward i'm just going to break the deck here i'm done with your reading by the way and four of cups i don't know if it's about them or it's about you, both of you are in this place about not happy, not being happy. Okay, uh, you being separate, uh, uh, you know, away from this person is putting you in this place of, you know, emotionally you are unhappy. Okay, you, you just don't feel um, joy. All right. This could be them two, you know, in the same energy. That's about it. I wish you the very best, Libra's out there. That's it. Uh, this is Marishi. You want to look at it? Bye-bye.